Hi, I'm David Cuthbertson from AssetGen and I'm going to take you through some of the advanced planning features that we have in AssetGen Connect uh, to help with planning and provisioning within data centers and infrastructure. In AssetGen we click on the planning feature and click on cabinet search. This is specifically for data center provisioning and planning to help us identify suitable space and resources to move equipment into or to help with reallocation of equipment and moving racks between maybe rooms or different environments or buildings. At a very simplest level, to understand the usage of space within all the racks in the data center, I could just click on this Birmingham site and click Run, and this will then analyze all the racks and present them in a nice easy format. And on the right hand side we can see currently how the rack is used. If I hover over any piece of equipment, we then see a tooltip explaining what the equipment is. If I do a left click on that equipment, we can then see all the attributes covering things like ownership, names, addresses, so we can quickly identify the types of equipments in the rack. And if I want to step through each of the various uh, racks, I can then see where we have space and resources, both for the front and also the rear of the rack as well. And so at a simplest level, that's much faster than searching through Visio diagrams. The key thing though with uh, AssetGen is that we can then also make use of the database application and actually then start filtering out racks specifically for purpose. And so to take you through a simple process, uh, let's go and for instance say that in within Birmingham there is one specific room, our computer room, where I want to install some equipment. I can then filter out using cabinet attributes particular racks. So for instance if it's a server, I can then filter out by cabinet function all racks that equal uh, the name server and so this will then filter out just those specifics. I can then also look for contiguous space of say 6U and excluding blanking plates because we can take them out to install equipment. I can also get the application to filter out the numbers of spare connections and resources available within the racks. So for instance we may want to make sure that we have a patch panel in the rack that has at least uh, a certain number of RJ45 ports say for instance six of them to connect in both our network but also maybe our storage maybe our remote management as well and I can then use the cabinet uh, figures for power and say take whatever the cabinet power rating is summarize all of the equipment uh, power rating say for instance we'll use our design or derated values and look for say 300 watts of power for a server and if I now run um, I've only got a limited range of racks which now have the available resources to cover these. And I can do what if analysis. So, for instance, if I say its power is not the limiting factor, if I untick this checkbox and I now do a run, does that make a difference? And so we can see some of the racks are power limited rather than limited in other resources. To speed this process up, we can also save all of those settings in templates. So, if I click on the templates button here, here we have, for instance, uh, a number of different templates. And so, for instance, for a standard Unix app server, if we have standardized components, because we're trying to do cloud computing and other type of uh, standardized uh, change controls, I can load up all of these different settings. So this is going to look for 500 watts of power. It's going to look for eight RG45 connections, six U of space, and it's going to look for server cabinets that are on the green side of the network because some people have different zonings within their data centers and if I now click on run the answer is I have one cabinet so this has identified the cabinet that potentially I could use if I now want to install something in the rack I just do a right click within the rack itself this is now taking me into AssetGen Connect I now do a right click and I can put in our piece of equipment here for instance I'll call this a new server installation Select the type of equipment. What's the status so that when it comes in reports we know it's a panned piece of equipment. Put it in a particular position, 23 position, say it's a, a 6U high. And if I save this, this has now been saved into the rack. To confirm its placement, I can click on the rack itself, look at the cabinet diagram, and I can see from there our new server installation and then to produce a rack diagram for this I'll go to rack cabinets go to rack 0204 which is the one we've selected yeah. 
and I'll draw a Visio diagram to send to the server or project team saying this is where I have planned and allocated space for that server so that then there is no mistakes and it's also now taken into account in our operational environment. Under the planning features we also have a feature called batch impact analysis. I won't cover any more on this, this is covered by another video called data center impact analysis but this allows us to do what if analysis with changes in either racks, power, um, connectivity and for instance upgrades of multiple environments and systems. But so there is another video if you look at that. Thank you very much for your time and uh, please look at uh, the other videos that will give you a better understanding of some of the other key advanced features for AssetGen.